Yes, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. So, who to keep, uh, when to sell, things like that, right? And, um, yeah, I don't think everyone is quite clear on it, and we'll go for it. This is just my opinion, right? I'm, I've got some knowledge on the market. I always make a few meal coins, um, even though I'm not on it every day to do it. But, um, yeah, so who to sell as of now, who to keep. Um, price ranges, are still, some people are still extinct. Um, the people you've got to look out for if you've got them in your team, right? The likes of like this this low rated high tier card, right? So you've got like you know your Rashfords um, and players at right. He's coming down slowly when the game's released to everyone. I think there will be a promo that's coming out. Again, the the market's going to be flooded with these kind of cards. You'll get people undercutting everyone. And then you'll just start seeing these cards come down, right? There's one that I'm not sure if he fits in Evo or not. I do have him in the club, and he's extinct at like 30k, uh, not 300. Yeah, he's extinct at like... Oh, he was extinct at 30k. But again, as you can see here, right? 30,000 coins for an 82 rated. You, you need to sell these kind of cards by Friday, even if he does fit in Evo. Just because he's going to get flooded on the market. So these kind of cards you need to get rid of, right? One is Kamadinga, right? Which 83 rated and is extinct at like 10k or 8k. That card's got potential to go up still, right? Because that is like a... Even though he's like a mid-tier card, he's going to be a card that is going to be solid, right? Uh, absolutely solid and then you've got the likes of um like who else was it i seen right um we're going to have a look at this guy right endrick i think because yes he fits in evo right apologies if if you can hear my son um it's put me off there where is he endrick right He's like, not, like nearly 10k, yeah. His price range has gone up a bit. This card is obviously going to come down. He's up to 20... His, his minimum... His max buy now is 25k. He's up to like 9k. Just because he fits an Evo. And boys, he goes to an 80 rated. He's not actually... I mean, he's good, but he's not amazing. Does he have no... He's, he's 4 star, 5 star. He's... Acceleration type, mostly explosive. They don't have work rates anymore. He doesn't have anything plus. He has shot power. I mean, there's a card again that is just going to get flooded on the market. And he, you're going to lose coins with him. Not only that, even if you do get his 80 rated card, I don't think it's going to be that amazing that you're going to probably want to keep him. But there is one card that I, I do reckon you should keep if you've got him, if not buy him, uh, is Inform Gabriel. Because he is only going to be in packs until Thursday. No, Wednesday, sorry. And once he's out of packs, he is just going to be rare. Like, considering he's been in packs nearly a week, there's not a massive supply, right? I mean, there's quite a few, actually. Right, maybe there is a massive supply. But again, at like 45k, we see it every year with these kind of informs. Like, at the start of the year, they always end up going stupid prices because they get rarer and rarer. He did get a goal against uh, City. Uh, they ended up drawing. What a boring game that was. But yeah. Uh, well, boring second half was boring, but um, yeah, they're, they're the kind of cards you want to keep around. But the likes of like you know, yeah, Rashford's uh, and players like that. Um, I mean, I think even Diego Dalot, I think he's like seven okay. Again, even if he can fit an Evo, like he, like we've seen it last year, right? They go up because the Evo's there, but after a few days and that, people have already done the Evo who want the Evo, and people they just don't sell, so they end up coming down quite easily. So. I would definitely be doing that. Marky matchups. I had a comment about um, marky matchups, like getting players for that. Um, and he did say, um, if we can get there, um, let's have a look. Yeah, Barcelona. He said about this guy, right? Um, which again, yeah. Um, it could be very good, but I do think you'd have a United and Spurs one. So for me, I've just went and picked up a few United players at like min price. Um, obviously, gold rares. Uh, 
Ericsson and Mounts. Now, I mean, these are all be good to do. Probably try and get them on bid a little bit cheaper. But we've seen it with like City and Arsenal. They went up to like 2.2k. We'll probably see that again if you can try and guess or you can see or there's a leak on who's going to be in the marquee matchups. That's probably a good one to go with. 100%. But um, yeah, just a quick one really. If you are going to keep some of these cards, like for me, who I've kept right. So um, I'm going to keep Nunes just because I need a striker for now. He's only like, I think, nine. Uh, what did I buy him for? 8.1k, I think, is he... Is that his price? Yeah, his price is 8.1k. He, he's not even selling for that at the moment, but he might go up when the game comes out because he's like one of the best strikers to use for a low budget as of now. I mean, Bruno Fernandes has got has got room to move, right? He's like still quite cheap. Um, So yeah, I would definitely like these kind of players. Odegaard's one. Odegaard, not only that, Odegaard's like fodder price. So you can't really go wrong for Odegaard, right? When an SBC comes out and people want to do it, this card's hitting like 40k, just regardless, just because everyone goes and buys 89s, and just that's just what happens. So Odegaard's a pretty good one. Um, Kanate, again, I think Kanate would be a very good one to keep as of now, just because he's like one of the, probably one of the best, so like this, this card will be in people's team for months, and when Foot Champ comes around, people will still be buying this card. But the likes of like, you know, uh, Sane, uh, Komen, players like that. Again, it's still like Komen's still got potential to go up. He's 84 rated, right? It's still he's a very good card, still got potential to go up. You'll probably see a spike initially um, when the game comes out. But I think over the course of the days, they're just stop. Rafinha's one. He'll probably start climbing. And then they eventually come down. What you're kind of looking for is before the weekend league starts. That's when you'll start seeing players at their peak. Um, Kelly's awful. Uh, absolutely awful. But um, yeah, just a quick one. They're kind of the cards you want to keep around. Ipecano again. He's got, I think this card will go up. Um, 8.1 now. The market's getting flooded. So it's probably the, a good time to start buying cards. And they're always, around this time, like evening time, you know, UK time, 6 to 8 o'clock, they're always at the cheapest. It's always good to get bids in. Um, and then, you know, in the morning, early in the morning, next day, you know, in the morning, they're always good to sell. So, yeah. That's it for the video, lads, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.